Hi, I'm Michal Bederita from the 20th cohort at the Data School. And today I'm going to show you how to use the dynamic select tool in Alteryx to dynamically select fields in your data set. If you're watching this video, you're hopefully already familiar with the regular select tool. But if not, no worries. I've left a link to my colleague Nathan's video all about the select tool in the description box below. And now let's jump into Alteryx. So I have here a sample Superstore data set. And say I wanted to keep just the numeric fields. So with a normal select tool, you would have to deselect them all and then select just the numeric fields. So sales, quantity, discount, and profit. But there's an easier way to do this. And that's with the dynamic select tool which sits in the developer category and it has the same symbol as the regular select tool. So in this tool, I can just select the types of fields that I want to keep or even simpler, I can click on this numeric button, which automatically deselects everything that is not of a numeric data type. Now let's run it. If you think this is cool, then wait till you see what else we can do with the dynamic select. In the options at the top, we've used select field types, but we can toggle this to select via a formula. And this allows us to select fields that have certain attributes or even field position numbers. So for example, let's say that instead of wanting to keep just the numeric fields, I wanted to instead keep everything but the dates. I could say not, and I don't want anything that is a date or time. So I can just double click is date or time. This needs a space. And then if we run it, we can see that before we had all the fields, including order date and ship date. And then here, the order date and ship dates are not in my data set anymore. We can also select fields by their position number. So let me bring in another dynamic select and connect it up. And again, select via formula. And say I wanted to keep just the order ID field. Say my sample Superstore data set is updated every month. And I know that the second column in the data set is always going to be the order ID. But one month it might be called order ID and another month it might be called order underscore ID. So if I were to use a regular select tool and just select order ID, my workflow would break the following month when the order ID column gets renamed. But with a dynamic select tool, what I can do is um, I know my order ID is the second column. So I can go here and there's an option field number and I double click on that and I want to keep field number equals two. And as you can see, this keeps just the order ID column. And the options with the dynamic select tool are really endless. For example, we could combine different conditions. So I could say, for example, I want to keep, um, let's see. So name refers to the field name. So I want to keep, say, the profit column and anything that's in column number five. So this would be an or field number equals five and this keeps the profit column and field number five, which in my data set happens to be ship mode. And finally, let's take a look at one last example of what we can do with a dynamic select tool. So I have here a data set where each column header is simply a date and say I'm interested in keeping only the columns that refer to future dates. So again, I can bring in a dynamic select tool and switch to select via formula. And so far we've only ever used this variables tab, but there's also this function tab, which allows us to use any of the functions that you would regularly use in Alteryx, for example, in a formula tool. And this opens up the dynamic select tool to even more possibilities. We want to keep all the dates that are in the future. So what we can do is go back to variables and we want the name of the column to be greater than today. And today 
you might already be familiar with this. Um, there is a function that's date time today. And if I double click on it, then this simply means that my column header and Altrix is already sort of recognizing that it's in a date format. And I want that to be bigger than date time today. So let's run the workflow. And uh, here we have all the columns. And then after the select tool, we can see that we're left with only the ones that refer to future dates. So everything that's after today, which is November 27th, 2020. So I hope that through this video, I was able to give you a little glimpse into the power of the dynamic select tool. If you come across other nifty use cases for it, then do leave us a comment below. And if you found this video useful, you might also enjoy these other videos by my colleagues. Thanks for watching.